Hey Virgos, welcome back to your week ahead messages, January <clears throat> oh, 8th through the 14th for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you are new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. And if you guys want to get a personal reading, I'm offering text message readings now. So go over to my website. The link is in the description box and check those out. They're super fast, almost instantaneous. Okay. So Virgo, yeah, keep in mind as always, these are general messages. So may or may not resonate for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. Okay. So this week, Virgo, you're starting off with date, meeting somebody new, getting dating, getting back out there, planning, setting a date, making healthy choices in your life. There's a soulmate connection here. Um, sitting in abundance and you're going to be talking to someone, a text call or an email. Uh, somebody's kind of circling around you. <laughs> um, I guess you, well, yeah, they're kind of hanging around. Um, there's an old saying, how can you tell if someone's really interested in you? Um, they always find a way or an excuse to be connected to you. That's really all you need to know. That's really all you need to know. Okay, so it looks like, yep, looks like you're going to have um, a date this week, at, this week or meeting someone new or you're just dating, getting back out there, planning, or someone is setting a date. Look at you, the Ten of Cups overall messages. So this is great. This is happiness, joy, contentment, um, possibly finding the one or connecting with a soulmate this weekend. It looks like or this week, it looks like it's very healthy. Um, it looks like this person is interested in, you know, the 10 of cups can be a marriage card, Virgo. So for some of you, yeah, that's, that's something that someone's interested in here. Um, but it's more of like happily ever after, just <laughs> happily ever after, just being content and happy and emotionally fulfilled with each other. So either you're going to meet someone new or you're going to start dating someone this week. Like they might even become official. Okay. So it's, it looks really positive. It's a good thing. What are your healthy choices? Oh, you want to ask me, who you're going to be dating, who you could possibly be dating. Okay. Could be, um, someone that you feel you have that soul to soul kind of familiarity with this person. It could be a water sign. There's uh, 10 of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for others. There is just this. Oh, right. When I was shuffling and the cards flipped for some of you, this is a reconciliation with someone that you're going to start dating this week or they might even ask you about dating this week okay very nice double water energy okay let's see what your healthy choices are so i love you know what i love what i love more than the whole idea of you um making that love connection is making healthy choices this year especially starting in january so maybe you started with your new year's resolutions and you're still going at it um but making healthy choices in love and in life. You've got self-love, self-care, and being happier. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let me see. I just, honestly, I feel like that's just a basket full of carrots. So maybe some of you are going to start eating more carrots um, or getting your vitamin A or vitamin K. <laughs> maybe it's turnips or radishes. You could be eating them right now. Uh, some of you are going to be getting like a really awesome haircut. You're doing something different, getting your hair chopped off or doing something with your hair. The Empress does represent beauty. So some of you are really focusing on your self-care, your beauty, your good looks, your physique. Um, and you've got the Page of Swords. I definitely feel like that you will be attracting um, people to you you'll be attracting more abundance towards yourself. You know, all the little furry bunny rabbits and squirrels are going to come up and just want to be around you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you got the page of swords here. I feel like you are, maybe you're going to start like cutting your calories too. Page of swords, holding that knife there. Are you going to start eating slower? As far as healthy choices, even in love, you're really going to be more discerning and ask questions, um, work on trying to get to know 
someone in your life this week. Um, I feel like there's a mother figure or an actual or your mother um, who's going to um, ask you for some help as far as doing or making healthier choices in their life. Or there's a friend. Maybe you cut hair. You could be holding that knife like, you know what? We're not we're not using the scissors. We're using the cleaver. And I'm chopping this shit off. Off of your head. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of like, it feels like this week, um, being more curious, looking things up, trying to understand even better how you could be healthier in your love life, in your 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 life itself in your physical self maybe your spiritual self um maybe even your emotional self doing some research as well this week is a good time for that if you've already started if you haven't definitely you know some of you might have uh, haven't even made any kind of new year's resolutions and now you're gonna make them yeah Maybe you're going to put them into plan, into action. Put your plans into action this week. So this is good. Now you have soulmates here. You've got soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. The six of cups is also a soulmate card. Um, so let's try to see here. There's an agreement that happens with you and a soulmate. A soul contract is written. Let's see. Okay, there's a surrender. Somebody surrenders. Whoa, Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone agrees to some kind of contract or um, deal. Okay, whether this is in love, whether this is in business. Um, you know, sometimes there's a lot of negotiation that goes on and sometimes there's a dead end and we can't agree, but it looks like the agreement gets made someone forfeits so to speak and um it looks like there's a queen of cups that's like ready to make change here okay with that ten of swords i kind of feel like this um this queen of cups masculine or feminine energy is giving in to something maybe even to a soulmate connection um giving in to no longer fighting um is something about seeing um look at all that light you see all that light there in the distance i feel like this this queen of cups is actually like they've hit rock bottom here and um the dark cloud is beginning to evaporate right so there's light coming into a very dark area now that could be literal um it's a waking up and this queen of cups is waking up to emotion their feelings as well okay so if you have a connection specifically with a water sign or if you have a connection with someone that um, has water in their chart somewhere in the areas of the let's see their moon or their venus could be their rising there is this surrendering and waking up to the emotions there's a lack of control here and coming into a, an agreement with you okay so this week is good for that and you also have abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss oh <laughs> i wish you could see me shuffling because you would have seen that this just flipped out these cards are leading the leading the, the, the way right now so there you go <laughs> wish come true you've got the nine of cups you've also got the king of cups okay hmm so i don't know what's going on here we do have libra i will point that out there is libra on the table but as far as court cards there's something going on with some water and it doesn't surprise me virgo so this king of cups definitely feels like you are like they have very fo uh, positive um, feelings and thoughts about you um i feel like this person feels very grateful for you to be in their life this could be a romantic partner this could be a family member colleague could be a friend um this person feels in bliss feels very abundant um feels very content with 
you having some kind of connection to you okay love relationship like i said um that nine of cups kind of makes me feel like this person um indulges in you in some way or indulges you <laughs> which they wouldn't indulge to anyone else this feels more specific maybe it's a soulmate maybe it's someone that you're gonna date this week but there is um i feel like this because the king of cups doesn't generally share their emotions um they may express gratitude to you um or just tell you how happy they feel to have you either as a partner or as a lover or as a friend or just for you to be on their side it's a very promising kind of energy okay um yeah so they this king of cups feels quite delicious about you <laughs> they're just saying delicious because i just kind of feel like that nine of pen that nine of cups is like the icing on the cake you know what i mean and the next step is the ten of cups which is over here so if that's the same person and you're dating this person it's all good this person is very very happy with you if you're not you may start dating them this week um and they could be somebody new or someone that you just know and this person's like like here you go talking there's gonna be a lot of conversation this week as well interested conversing more an awaited message arrives text call email god Barbara, you can't make this up with these readings sometimes i swear two of cups and the eight of cups there's so much cup energy <sighs> there's like two swords and the rest are cups pretty much so and here so there's a journey you're going to be talking with someone this week or hearing from someone this week possibly about travel which is the eight of cups taking a trip going on a journey um, could be about um, getting together as well so it could be this person that you're talking we were uh, picking up here it could be a, um, just you could be traveling you could be talking to someone also about taking a journey with them it could be a friend it doesn't have to be romantic it could be both so you could have both of these energies coming in this week okay um maybe a temporary like a little vacation or a trip this could even have something to do with um moving as well for some of you very few but it could happen but if you've been waiting for a message or a reply from someone um, it's going to come in and you guys are going to start talking this week even more this person's interested in you could have a communication online you see she's sitting there at her laptop at um well it's not it's a laptop um at a computer so it's either a text or a phone call could be a facetime or you receive an email um if you're on a dating site like i said you could be meeting someone new and then some kind of spark happens here and it, it looks really your week ahead i just i don't see anything negative here you know even that ten of swords gives me a feeling of um of surrender not so much betrayal but surrender and even the page of swords i feel like whatever changes that you're making this week within yourself you know it doesn't have to be physical because even when you make these attitude changes attitude changes can attract more love and you've got someone watching you that's for sure they're keeping an eye on you not in a negative way but they're just kind of watching you all right let's get into the rest of these messages and see what else what else is going on in Virgo's life this week? Let's just get a couple of cosmic insight messages for Virgo. So you guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been uploading portions of the um, nightly reading that I do. So I've been breaking it down to segments. I, and I know some of you are like, but I already saw this. It's for those of you, uh, or those people 
who I can't even believe water sign just popped out. It's for those of you who don't have the time to listen to the long reading, so you can just catch the snippets. That's why I'm doing that, okay? Because um, I know there's some people that like the real long reading, and then there's people that just they only have 15 minutes. They just want to catch a quick message. So that's why I'm doing that. It's not that I need to explain. I'm not explaining. I am um, trying to tell you why I'm doing that, so you know. Okay, we've got water sign this week showing up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Oh, also a confession. And they have something to tell you. They're going to confess something to you this week. Okay. Interesting. Or you may be hearing a confession. Oh, sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. <laughs> okay. <coughs> well, it's possible. They may tell you that they're confused. Um, but that's just a conversation, maybe a question. They might even tell you that they played for a different team back in the day. They might express that to you. They might tell you that. Um, okay. So if it's not connected to that, um, then there is someone in your periphery in your life that is going through some sexual confusion or confused about their sexuality. Okay. And you've got somebody here who... <laughs> All right, let me just break it down this way. You've got a water sign who's going to confess to you that they have... Um, so they're, they're trying to figure themselves out sexually, and they also have a problem with gambling and bad finances, okay? Yes, okay. Problems with addiction or gambling bad finances okay that's one overall message otherwise there is separately a water sign who's going to be significant in your life this week which we saw in the reading you also have someone that's coming in with a confession to tell you a secret it could be gossip but confessions aren't usually gossip they're usually someone bearing their soul so that feels more along that line for me um and completely separate from the first message i was giving you here there's also someone in your life who could um be trying to figure themselves out sexually and there is also um an issue somewhere connected to you with um, gambling addiction or bad finances okay so these three separate issues could come up or it could just all be one thing okay so i don't know if you can be surprised about that or not okay you also have give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. Your overall message, really, Virgo, I feel, you know, if you're making healthy choices in love and in your life, that's great. It, the first step is making the decision. The second step is putting that decision into action. And the third step is patience as that grows and as you change. It's not an overnight thing. Remember, life and love is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And once you get to accept that, you don't have that stress because you're not trying to get to the end game. You're not trying to get to the end of the, you know, the finish line. You're just enjoying the journey. Enjoy the marathon. I feel like that's a big message for you, Virgo. All right, let's see. Now, you know what, you guys? This year, as I said before, we're going into the year of the dragon, um, which is going to be a very auspicious year for uh, getting things done. There are a few signs that will be very lucky this year. I believe it will be the rooster, the monkey. Um, I forget what else I said. The rooster, the monkey. Is it the pig? I think um, will be very lucky this year. Plus the dragon. Very lucky. You'll you'll see. Your luck will just listen. It's not going to be like like I was thinking about how the Eagles football are not doing so great, and I was like, oh, that it would be great luck for me if they would win. No, it would be great luck for them if they would win. That's not my luck. My luck is when I'm walking down the street and I find a valuable on the side of the road. No one can claim it, so it's mine. That's that's a streak of luck. You're going to have a streak of luck where it's like a gift. That's kind of like. Immaterially, when the Ace of Pentacles comes out of the sky, that's a material gift. These are gifts. This luck, they feel like gifts. Okay, let's see. What is... I'm going to take a look at you to see what your water sign... Or, pff, not your water sign. Well, first, yeah, let's take a look at this water sign and see. That's just generally... Okay. Year of the rooster. Year of the pig. Rooster again. Year of the dragon. What the hell? Year of the ox. This could be you. Could be that water sign. Could be you and your person or 
neither of you. Okay, Year of the Rat, Year of the Goat, and Year of the Monkey. Okay, significant, significant signs. And even the ones that I um, just mentioned as far as Lucky and the Year of the Dragon are here as, as well as the dog and the rat. Okay, so, and the ox. So if you're also one of those uh, Chinese signs, it's also going to be a lucky year for you as well. So yeah, yeah, that's great. All right, let's see. What are your messages of love? What messages of love does Virgo need to have? Yeah, you've got soulmate again, Virgo. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Okay, we need to remember that. Oh, you also have stability. There's, there's a relationship that can stand the test of time. Beautiful. Okay, you also have release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Lean on your inner circle during this time for support and leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. What are you up to, Virgo? What do you have going on? What move are you trying to make? All right, let's get some initials. Let's see what numbers, initials, and oh, look. Oh, an old fashioned camera. How cute. Let me show you. Uh, the first charm of the season is a camera. Photograph, I don't want your, I don't need your photograph. All right, that's an oldie. Um, yeah, so you might be a photographer or maybe you're going to indulge in photography this year, maybe as a hobby or as a profession, you might be getting a new camera. Maybe you're purchasing some antique camera as well, or you see a really good deal. Maybe you find one cause you'll be lucky this year. Um, yeah, or you could have somebody who's taking pictures of you. Maybe you're going to do a photo shoot of, or create one for someone, um, or a photo shoot, have one done of yourself. Um, or somebody could be looking at your pictures. You could be looking at someone's pictures. Uh, zooming in. You might be zooming in. Okay. So we're starting with age 54. Someone's born in 69. Uh, someone's born in 1983. We have um, the month of October is very significant. We also have someone is 46. We also have a September birthday. We have 1989. We have the initial A. Someone's name starts with an A. Oh, okay. They just gave me the number six. All right, could be A6. September 6th, we have the initial N. We have I, so somebody's name could be Ian, or Nia, or Annie. We have a 31, so you could be 31. Your birthday could be August 31st. Let's see. Okay, you have the letter E. Oh, my son's like hacking up a Luger. Gross. Okay. Um, 1976. If you were born in 1976, that is the year of the dragon. If you were born in the year 2000, that is the year of the dragon. If you're 24 years old listening to my reading, welcome. All right, let's see. What else do you have? Okay. September 22nd. Okay, we have the initial L. Uh, we could have the name Lainey, L-A-N-I-E, Lena. We have Niles, Alina. Oh, alien. <laughs> Somebody could be an alien, or maybe you are reading up and watching all the alien news media stuff. And we have the age 34. Okay, let's see what zodiac sign shows up here for you guys. Significant zodiac sign for Virgos. Okay, we have Capricorn and Taurus being significant this week. 
We have another Virgo and Aquarius being significant for you this week. And Scorpio and Pisces being significant for you this week. All right, you guys, I'm going to give you, since we're going into um, February 10th, I believe is the Chinese New Year, and we don't really celebrate that here unless you're Chinese. Um, but you know me, I love the Chinese zodiac with the uh, Eastern predictions, animal predictions. So I do have my uh, cards with my uh, dragons. So I'm going to give you a couple of messages here from this. Okay, you have intuition, trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. Okay, Virgo. What else do you have? You also have change. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. Oh, cool, Virgo. All right, let's get one more. And then I'm going to end your reading. You have twists and turns. Twist and shell. You have carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval. Ooh, that, uh, that doesn't make it bad. Just keep that in mind. Um, something better sometimes comes in its place. So whatever the changes or the upheaval, like for example, you're working out and you're cutting your calories and you're not seeing any results and then one morning you wake up and you get on the scale and you're down like 15 pounds <gasps> that would throw anybody into a shock right that's just an example so get lots of rest to Virgo <laughs> get lots and lots of rest to prepare be prepared expect prepare for everything expect the best but be prepared for everything Okay, I'm going to leave your reading there. Again, if you want to get a text message reading with me, you can ask up to five questions. You just book it, and I'll get that information right away once you book it, but I will get the message back to you no later than the time that you book it. Okay, it's not a phone call, it's a text. So I'll respond. Make sure you put your phone number in there, and I might even, you know, get it out to you like same day. Okay, so you don't have to wait. All right, you guys, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you have a fantastic week. I'll see you tomorrow with your daily and for your the month of January. So take care. I love you guys. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.